Okay, here we are again in the outdoor classroom. And you have been playing around with the idea of how to do indirect measurement using the ideas around similar triangles. So today's brief video is a way to make a 30, 60, 90 triangle out of a piece of paper, which you can use for your uh, indirect measurement. I just take just a regular sheet of paper, okay, some scrap paper that I had laying around, and I've decided to strengthen it. So I fold it in a third, and then double it over. So I'm pretty close to a third. I messed up a little bit, but the reason why we do this is to make the paper stronger. And then repeat, fold it lengthwise, look across the middle, and across the middle. Now the reason, there's another reason why I'm practicing folding in thirds is because in order to make the 30, 60, 90 triangle, you realize the fact that one, the long side of the 30, 60, 90 triangle is twice the size of the short side. So if you're in a ratio of two to one, that means you're dividing into three even pieces and two of them go with one part and one goes with the other. So you want to then take your paper and carefully, I've already folded this one so I have a little cheating, head start fold to get to, you know, double over and double over. And then double check to make sure you're, the more accurate you are, the more accurate your measurements will be using this tool that you've just created out of a piece of paper. Think how creative you are. All right, now press it and crease it really well so you can get those nice strong creases and you have a nice firm piece of paper. And then unfold and lo and behold, look at this, look at this, look at this, look. You have, you have to imagine the third side, you have a triangle. A 30, 60, 90 right triangle. See if I can line up my camera like that. Boom, there we go. 360-90 right triangle. And then you can use that thing like we did by figuring it as an azimuth. Okay, so here we have 30-60-90 right triangle. 